So this picture was made about four days into my time at the dump in May of 2013, and it's actually a photograph of a bride and groom on their wedding day. I had um, met the family and, and given some rice and stuff to them earlier, in the days preceding this. And on that particular day, I walked up, and the mother put her fingers together like this and said something in Burmese. And I had no idea what she was talking about. So she put her fingers together and said it in Burmese again, which I still didn't understand. I could speak some Thai, a fair amount of Thai, but Burmese is a, a sort of a mystery to me. And these people are probably, I think they're from the Karen group. So I think she might have been speaking a dialect, not even Burmese. And I didn't understand what she was saying. So I wander off and I'm photographing with a view camera some garbage in the distance. I look behind me and there's a table set up, like a picnic table, a metal picnic table. So I'm curious and I go back. Turns out it's a wedding and the picnic table is for the guests. I have no idea where it came from, it just appeared. Um, so I ended up being part of the wedding party and gave some money to the family. Um, there was like a little collection that most weddings have. My, my family history, um, they do that. Ukrainian history, they have like a, a gift presentation part. And inside this, inside this little house area where the parents were meeting, they had like a little, little glass with some money in there. So I put some money in there. I, I, I assume it was for the bride and groom. <laughs> um, this moment is kind of awkward because the, the, the older people are inside eating rice and stuff from a dish here, but the bride and groom kind of sat awkwardly like this outside. No physical contact, no kissing, none of that stuff you'd see in the West. Very nice people though, um, young, 15 and 17. The bride being 15, the groom being 17. When I went back there in uh, November, she was already about four, four or five months pregnant. So by now she's had the child. Hopefully everything went okay for them. Having a, a baby in this situation. There's a, there's a free clinic in the area that I've never been to. Maybe she had the baby there, but she could have had it right here in the garbage, you know, in one of these little shacks. I'll find out when I go back uh, later this year, if they're still there. Very nice people. One of the things that happened that day was I was able to um, use a little digital camera to photograph. So I, I used my film cameras and then also I had a, a digi camera that I gave to the family and they ran around photographing and everyone was standing there very stiff with the garbage behind them posing for pictures. <laughs> um, it took a while because I had to go back. I ended up coming back to Canada, but I had the prints made for them. And when I went back in November, the first thing I did was hand it to them and they everyone went like bananas over them. Very happy, very pleased. And after that, I was photographing all the different families with a digital camera and handing out colored prints. Terrible situation, but good people. People that um, deserve better, deserve a better life than the gods have given them. Can't wait to go back and, and uh, meet them again and make some photographs and share more experiences. Maybe they're gone, maybe they've moved on to better times. That would be okay too, more than okay. Anyway, the bride and the groom. <laughs>